Today I've got the Dell 5520 and the Dell 7520 in the office. These two are both precision mobile workstations from Dell, but they're slightly different designs. The Dell 5520 is designed in more the XPS style. It's got a carbon fiber uh, tray with a keyboard. It's got an aluminum backplate and bottom plate. The 7520 is a thicker, heavier machine with more expandability options for you. Today we'll look at them both, we'll compare the features, we'll let you know which one we think is best. Both models feature the Intel i7-7820HQ, and they both also offer various versions up to the Intel Xeon CPU. The 5520 includes a Quadro M1200 graphics card and up to 32GB of RAM, while the 7520 can support more powerful M2200 GPU and up to 64GB of RAM in its four DDR4 slots. The 7520 also has a built-in 2.5-inch hard drive slot in addition to the M2 SSD support. The 5520 only supports one M2 SSD. Let's see what the 7520 has to offer for external ports. The 7520 has a full complement of USB 3.0 ports on the right side with a full-size SD card slot. On the left is a smart card reader slot, another USB 3.0 port, mini display port, full-size HDMI, and a USB Thunderbolt 3 port. On the rear, you'll find the Ethernet jack and the power connector. The keyboard is traditional Dell, tactile but somewhat mushy. The trackpad is very small and does not have a satisfactory feel during use. Everything here works, but there are better experiences available elsewhere. A fingerprint reader is also available. The screen is an anti-glare IGZO IPS 4K panel. 1080p panels are available to save battery life, although this 4K screen is really good. Where traditionally designed laptops have a serious advantage is serviceability. The 7520 has user removable battery and hard drive caddy in the bottom. The 5520 is much thinner and lighter than the 7520. With a solid aluminum top and bottom plate, this laptop feels very high quality and heavy for its size. On the right side, the 5520 has a full-size SD card slot and a USB 3.0 port. On the left side, it has a headphone and microphone jack, a USB-C Thunderbolt port, a full-size HDMI port, and another USB 3 port, and a power port. Like the 7520, the 5520 has an IGZO IPS 4K screen, although it is glossy. Both of these laptops include Dell Premier Color technology, meaning they can reproduce 100% of the Adobe RGB spectrum. Additionally, both laptops include Dell's premium panel guarantee, meaning that a single bad pixel allow you to get a replacement screen under warranty. The HD webcam is unfortunately located below and to the left of the 5520's display. The 5520 has a solid aluminum bottom panel attached with Torx T5 screws. Surfacing is not quite as simple as with the 7520, but certainly possible. The touchpad and keyboard are much easier and better to use on the 5520. The touchpad is a smooth glass surface with positive clicks, and the keyboard is a lot like the XPS lines, shallow keystrokes with a positive feeling. Both models have adaptive backlight, though the 5520 seems to be more visible in lower power settings. Thunderbolt 3 is standard on both laptops. With up to 40 gigabits per second in available bandwidth, the options available for this port are endless. Dell's connected the port to four PCIe lanes on the 7520, and only two lanes on the 5520. Both laptops can be powered off this port as well, although the 7520 requires 180 watt input power and the 5520 requires 130 watts. The Thunderbolt 3 can only provide 85 watts of power in this generation, so both laptops require the power adapter to be plugged in as well. These ports support all type of USB-C peripherals, including display adapters. The 7520 can support Dell ePort docking stations, also the new TB16 Thunderbolt 3 dock and the WD15 USB-C port replicator. The 5520 cannot support the ePort docking stations. Strangely, Dell has decided to permanently attach the docking cables to each of their docks. On the Thunderbolt 3 dock, it's slightly too short, and on the WD-15, it's slightly too long. Both of these laptops are leaders within their niche. For a slim and very portable option, the 5520 is going to be hard to beat. The 7520 still wears the crown in Dell's lineup for total power and a 15-inch form factor. Both laptops leave something to be desired in regards to battery life, with the 5520 beating the 7520 by more than an hour in our Wi-Fi web browsing test. Neither laptop can be classified as thin and light, so battery life compromises are to be expected. If you're a creative professional and engineer architect, both laptops are perfectly suited for you. If you're a gamer or looking to do everything on a single laptop, you might be better served by the XPS 15. If you need workstation power and features, the real question is do you want to save carrying around nearly 3 pounds every day? I do so I would choose the 5520.